Forensic analyst Dr. Julie Heinig examined a decades-old DNA sample and found mutations invisible to standard testing. Five investigators had failed to separate the twin suspects for 37 years, but Heinig's genome sequencing finally revealed the attacker. Before I explain how they solved this, consider this. Identical twins share 99.99% of their DNA. That last fraction, it can hide the difference between freedom and life in prison. Case file number 87 to 442. In 1987, police collected evidence from a sexual assault. The DNA was preserved, but every test matched both twin brothers, Russell and Ronald Marubio. For decades, the case stalled. Think about it. Traditional DNA kits read only 20 genetic markers but deep sequencing scans billions. That's how experts caught what others missed. And if you want to see how modern forensics really works, subscribe now. In 2024, investigators partnered with Verigen Labs. They applied whole genome sequencing, a method that maps over 3 billion base pairs. But here's what separated this investigation from others. They weren't just matching DNA. They were hunting for somatic mutations unique to one twin. Most people don't realize, identical twins still develop thousands of tiny mutations as cells divide. That's enough to pinpoint one from another. Subscribe to learn how science is rewriting criminal justice. The breakthrough came when sequencing revealed four mutations present only in Russell's DNA. Forensic expert Dr. Bruce Boudowell confirmed. This case shows identical twins are not genetically identical in practice. This ruling set a US legal precedent. Courts now accept deep genome evidence against identical twins. Police academies are updating forensic manuals to include somatic mutation analysis in cold cases. The whole genome sequencing that solved this case proves why precision forensics matters. For 37 years the evidence sat silent until science finally gave it a voice. 